chemicals that are maintained on campus must be properly stored and handled, and schools have an obligation to do so. Chemical safety is critical for the protection of students, staff, and the environment, and the use of chemical management systems can help to reduce the hazards connected with dangerous chemicals and goods. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, approximately 50 million U.S. students attended 100,811 public and private elementary and secondary schools during the 2013-2014 school year. Children spend about a third of their day in school where they should be provided with a healthy environment. However, schools like other facilities contain hazardous chemicals for a variety of purposes which include sanitation, educational opportunities or like science, laboratories or art classes, and cleaning purposes. These chemicals can unintentionally or sometimes intentionally be released. Because of the children's developing bodies and age-associated behaviors, they are more susceptible to being affected by them. As for WHO, UNEP, and ILO, to reduce chemical exposure at school or anywhere else, poisoning prevention and chemical safety should be a priority for everyone. In school, at home, at work, and in the community. You can learn all of your life. The goal of education should be to achieve in the following objectives. Make people more aware of what is going on. Broaden your horizons. And change one's mindset and behavior. People should be educated to adapt a uh, poison prevention lifestyle by providing them with information and a better understanding of prevention issues so they can make their own well-informed decisions and act on them, taking responsibility for their own health and taking responsibility for their own lives. As opposed to just listing facts with those don'ts, the current educational approach encourages people to think about their values and attitudes, consider their opinions and make decisions and take action. It's possible that education efforts will focus on concerns like raising awareness of the hazard from chemicals and chemical products, and particular situations or circumstances, for example, agrochemicals stored in the home. Ways to prevent toxic exposures, for example, by storing household products where they are inaccessible to children. How to use safety devices such as child-resistant containers for hazardous household products or medicines when and how to contact the local poison center and how the poison center can help the community. First aid measures such as resuscitation or decontamination when a person is exposed to a chemical. The development of preschool children so that people who look after them have a better understanding of their abilities at different ages and potential for unsafe behavior. But, let's always make sure our kids are aware with the dangers of harmful substances by educating them little by little. Matured people often are aware identifying which one is bad by just looking at the containers or by the looks of the chemicals, but children may see it in a different perspective. It is important that they have been taught by those things. They might not be able to absorb all the details, but at least they can familiarize what are those harmful and good ones. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos about health and might save lives. Take care and see you soon in my next videos.